Hi, I'm Cambria. I'm a physical therapy student at the Adventist University of Health Sciences, and welcome to Cambria's Physical Therapy Learning Corner. Today, we're gonna to be talking about forearm supination. The first thing you need to know about that are the primary muscles that perform this movement, which include the biceps, the supinator, and the brachioradialis. Today, we're gonna to talk about a passive range of motion, a stretch, a mobilization, and a strength exercise to help with this motion. This is my friend and my guest star, Jalia. Say hi. Hi. So we're gonna continue working on passive range of motion right now. That'll be the first thing we do. So here's what I need you to do. Rest in it. while the patient is sitting or they can be in supine. You're gonna fix the elbow and the therapist will grasp at the wrist. Don't grab at the hand because that will pull through the carpals, which is not what we want. So grasp around the head of the radius and the ulna and passively move through that motion. And this will be to measure passive range of motion. An alternative way to execute passive range of motion for supination of your forearm is to rest the elbow on the table of the patient, have them in sitting or in supine. The patient will grasp their wrist around both sides like this, again, grasping at the wrist, not at the hand. And we'll take, we'll just slowly and gently move through the range of motion. Careful to protect your personal body mechanics as a therapist. Great. So next we're going to work on a mobilization and since we're working <clears throat> here on supination, we are going to do an posterior anterior glide at the radiohumeral joint. So I'm going to find the head of her radius here by rotating her forearm. I can feel the head right underneath my finger here. So I'm going to grasp her radial head and push it upwards. And so to do this, I'm going to give two oscillations per second. And right now I'm giving her a grade three mobilization to work on increasing range of motion. Now if I want to give a four, it'd be a short range right here at the end. You okay? Mm -hmm. I know it's not comfortable. And then grade one would be small right here for pain and grade two also for pain. Those felt a little better, didn't they, at the end? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought so. Thank you. For this stretching technique, we're gonna focus on stretching the supinator muscle, which originates at the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and goes to the proximal radial shaft, right in here. So, as this muscle activates, it shortens in this direction. So to stretch, we're gonna move in the opposite direction. I'm going to fix the patient's arm here with my hand and gently slowly rotate her forearm into pronation to get a gentle stretch across the top of that forearm there. We'll hold this for 30 seconds and then we'll relax. This exercise should be repeated two to three times and two to three times a week. Great. How did that feel? Good. Felt the stretch? Mm -hmm. Good. For our last step, we're gonna learn how to do a resistance exercise using a TheraBand. This is the green, which is a moderate intensity. So Jalia, I want you to hold the band in your hand like this, okay? And take your other hand and wrap it around your wrist. And grasp it again, good. And wrap it one more time, good. Now hold it with this hand out here, perfect. Just a little bit of tension, now put your elbow there. Okay, so now I want you to turn your wrist up towards me. Good, you feel the stretch in the band? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, you can relax. I'll do that eight times. Keeping your wrist straight in a neutral position. She's gonna complete this exercise eight to 12 times for strength. This exercise should be completed two to three times a week 
with at least two days of rest in between for resistance and strength gains. How do you feel? Good. You feel stronger? Mm -hmm. A little bit. <laughs> so Julia, how was your experience today? How'd you like it? Good. You feel like you learned a lot? Yeah. What is the muscle that I taught you right here? The, 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 the soup something. The supinator. Nice work. Thanks for watching Cambria's Physical Therapy Learning Corner.